hey what is going on guys welcome back to another hpm smart tutorial on the channel now in this video we are going to check how to make a partially self-sustainable fusion nuclear plant in hpm smart now the reason this plant is only partially self-sustainable is because you are gonna need a constant supply of deuterium and tritium into the plasma heater but aside from that this plant is gonna produce enough power to run itself the plasma heater and also it is gonna produce excess power that you can use anywhere you want now there are timestamps in the video in case you need to skip to a specific part so with that out of the way guys without any further ado let's get this video going so the things you are gonna need are a super conducting magnet central magnet piece reinforced glass magnet motor piece and a fusion reactor core component you are also gonna need a plasma heater core component and the plasma heater block now first of all take out your two core component and we are going to place the plasma heater core component first when you place this component you are gonna see a holographic display of how the plasma heater is gonna look now remember this because this is important from the plasma heater core component exactly 17 blocks away place the fusion reactor core component you will see that neither of the two coincide and there is a pink colored area showing that the conjunction is complete so once you do that you're gonna take the blocks that are gonna that you are gonna need in order to make this and you're gonna start placing them in their respective places so for the demo i am going to build the plasma heater in front of you guys and then you guys can follow up with the fusion reactor in the same way so let's get this going Now you will see that as soon as I have finished placing all the blocks, this will turn into a plasma heater. Now I am going to do the same process for three hours later. The plasma, or rather the fusion reactor. And once you are done, this is how the final product is gonna look. Now you have to make sure that the plasma heater should be inside the fusion reactor, otherwise it won't inject the plasma. Now it's time to make some plasma that, is, that we are going to use in order to power a fusion reactor. So to do that, you need to keep two tanks. One tank will be of deuterium and the another tank will be of tritium. And the plasma that we are going to make is going to be a deuterium tritium plasma. So here's the tritium tank and here's the deuterium tank. Now what we are going to do is we are going to keep infinite barrels as we are in creative but you can when you are playing in survival you need to keep on refreshing these tanks with their respective liquids and once we have done that we are going to run pipes and make sure that these are the correct pipes because if you designate the wrong pipes then the fluid is not going to be injected in the plasma heater now once that's done make sure that your tanks are on output mode and once you get some battery in you will see that our plasma is being made the tritium and deuterium will come in and it will be get converted into plasma now that we are set with our plasma setup it's time to put some blankets inside the fusion reactor so what these blankets are are neutron reflectors so they are gonna help in the reaction so there are these four types of blankets and you can choose any one that you want the tungsten one has the least durability and the others they have more, more durability than the tungsten one. so if you change the blanket it changes the look and the durability of the fusion reactor but for the sake of this tutorial we are gonna go with the tungsten blanket now once you have put the tungsten blanket in now initially you will need to provide power to this fusion reactor in order to kick start it so once I get some power in, and if I start the reactor now, you will see that the magnets are rotating 
and the plasma will be injected in perfusion chamber so as you can see the plasma is coming in and as we have not input any water yet the water won't be converted into steam so let's fix that so i'm gonna take a tank and i'm going to run this tank into the fusion reactor now remember that if you want anything to go in the fusion reactor the only side it can go from is the top there will be no connections from the bottom of the fusion reactor so carry these pipes all the way to the top and once you are there shift click on the fusion reactor and you will see that the pipe connects with the fusion reactor and now water is coming so if i start the fusion reactor again now you will see that all this water is gonna get converted into ultra dense steam there with ultra dense steam now being created i have made this really simple setup first we are gonna get the ultra dense steam into our turbines and then we are gonna get that super dense steam which we received from the first turbine into the second turbine now from there we are gonna get dense turbine and then the steam turbine so it is like following ultra dense steam is gonna get converted into super dense steam super dense steam into dense steam and dense steam into steam and then we are gonna run the water back from the last steam into a fusion reactor which is gonna help us with water production so take out pipe from the very top of the fusion reactor and connect it with the pipes that you are that you have connected the super dense steam or rather the ultra dense steam now once you have made the connection you will see that power will be produced momentarily and see a turbine is full of power now what i have run on the top are cables and using these cables you can transfer the power that you have produced so what i'm gonna do now is okay first of all let's check whether all of these turbines have produced power or not and now let's quickly grab a energy storage block and if i place this block here and connect this block with the cables you will see that it is gonna get filled with energy so let's quickly check this system now if i start the turbine or the fusion reactor rather you will see that steam is constantly being produced and if i go here the storage block is charging at a very high rate this is the power of the fusion reactor now that our reactor is up and running i am going to show you guys that this reactor is self sustainable now the power that the reactor is producing i have run a cable back into the reactor and into the plasma heater so now you will see that as i have removed the battery but the power levels aren't going down so basically the reactor is powering itself the same goes for this plasma heater here i have no battery but the power levels are constant so the reactor is fully capable of powering itself and the plasma heater and also produce excess energy same goes for the water levels as you can see i have broken the water pipes but still water is being pumped and ultra dense steam is being produced so this is now a self sustainable reactor now with energy being produced some of the other uses of the fusion reactors are if you put a lithium cell in the fusion reactor what you are going to get is a quad tritium cell and these tritium cells can be used to power a nuclear breeder or a nuclear furnace also you are going to get free ionized particles throughout the life of operation of this fusion reactor so that's really handy so that's it for this video guys if you liked it please smash that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this also if you want me to cover something in hpm small let me know in the comment section down below peace